let's face it, there are those moments when we're all just running out of time, running out of energy, and we're looking for a shortcut. This is a good hack to go to. Welcome to another blind mom hack video. Hi, I'm Cindy, and today I'm gonna to share my tips and hacks for the kitchen. Today's video is actually part one of two. Because I had so many tips and hacks to share with you guys, I needed to break it down into two videos. So today is gonna focus more on tips and hacks that are kitchen items and this what I use in this space to make it more easy and efficient as a legally blind mom. Video two will be uploaded next week and it will focus more on food prep and just food related tips and hacks, maybe a few cleaning ones thrown in also. So if you haven't hit the red subscribe button yet, I hope you consider doing so and stay tuned. All right, friends, let's get started. Today's list is gonna be around 10 or so, give or take. I'm gonna start out with um, three or four utensils here that I think are great tools for any mom <laughs> to have in the kitchen because they're efficient, they're time-saving, and for me personally, as a legally blind mom, why grab a knife if you don't have to? It's not that I'm not comfortable with them, but again, I don't wanna go there, especially with little kids around, if I don't have to. So number one, let's start out with the pizza cutter. So of course, a lot of us know this trick already. Do not underestimate the pizza cutter, guys. This is awesome for everything beyond pizzas. You know, cutting chicken strips into bite-sized pieces or anything like that. Taking a pizza cutter with you to restaurants is also a huge helpful way to make sure that all the food for your kids is in an appropriate size and portion. A similar tool for this is also kitchen shears. So I lived in South Korea for a year and they introduced me to kitchen shears and just how much <laughs> how awesome this tool can really be in the kitchen. They are very similar to scissors. However, yes, they are more designed more for food and it just makes cutting up like carrots or, or anything like that quick, simple, easy. And again, you don't have to grab out your knife and cutting board and all that jazz. All right, so next I'm going to pull out my fruit and vegetable peelers, or at least that's what I call them. I'm not sure if there's a more technical term for these, but to peel an apple or potato or anything like that, this makes that job so much easier. And again, I'm not getting out a sharp knife. It saves me time and these just make so much less of a mess also. My last utensil I'm gonna show you real quick is the apple slicer. So again, I'm sure you probably think these are only great for apples, but stay tuned to next week's video because I'm gonna show you how awesome this tool can be for a variety of things. But again, the apple slicer is just an awesome tool for me personally, because again, I'm not picking up a knife. It's easy and it saves so much time especially you know getting those apples sliced up for my kids who let's let's face it they're not always patient if you know what i mean all right hack number two this one is a lifesaver for me it's actually really similar to the one i mentioned in my blind mom hack video for the laundry room so i will put that in the card section above my head now as well as in the description box so that you can check that out this is for my olive oil okay so as a legally blind mom i do not like pouring especially you know from those big you know we get big big bottles of it sometimes and just I, I'm just not really great at measuring and funneling all that into a measuring cup or anything like that, especially when it's a big bulky container. So there, it's not easy for me to pour. So what I did is I got on Amazon, I got a BPA free safe pump bottle that was made for thicker liquids like shampoos and lotions and things like that, only this is safe for kitchen use. So again, I just pump my olive oil into the pan or into my measuring utensils to measure out my olive oil. And it is so much easier and quicker than getting this, you know, big bulky container out and pouring it into, 
you know, whatever I'm measuring or into the pan. And most of the time I found that I always poured either too much or too little and I'd have to get it back out again. And it was just a huge frustration. So uh, this is a great hack, guys. I recommend it, not just for visually impaired parents like myself, but if you don't have steady hands or anything like that, guys, I think you know it could work for a variety of parents um, with physical disabilities. So file that one away. I hope it works for you. Number three is especially for us visually impaired uh, parents out there, and that is bump dots. Everyone is pretty much by now familiar with bump dots. So I'm just gonna give you a few pictures here of how I've used them in the kitchen. So I have them on my microwave as well as my refrigerator and then my stove as well, you can see. And I don't need to put a lot on there, you know, I just, put enough on there to help my fingers orient where the main buttons are and then I can move from there to any additional buttons um, that I need uh, access to. So these just help again to quickly navigate these appliances without using any vision at all. Tip number four is actually a product. Again guys remember I am way too small of a YouTube fish to get any kind of you know, affiliate links or monetization or anything like this, but I just wanted to mention this because these are actually, these have been great for me. And here they are. This is actually, they are, I think, marketed more as formula dispensers, which if you are going to be a formula user, man, these things are great. Um, but I use them for snacks. I will try to put a link in the description box to give you an idea of what they are, um, on Amazon, but let me open it up. I actually already have snacks in this one. I think it is Fruit Loops or something. Let me open it up for you guys. But it has, I don't know if you can see, three compartments. And so I think it's great for people who are, you know, formula feeding because you can already pre measure out um, each bottle in the, you know, different compartments. But I use this as my snacks for like, you can do like M&Ms if you're doing, you know, potty training or you know, Cheerios or any kind of little small like puffs, you know, when they're first beginning their snacks. Um, th these are just great because I don't know if you can tell. So, you know, once you put the top on the three compartments, there is a little bitty top that's a little circle and you circle this around to the, to the different compartments to help either pour out the formula or to help dispense the snacks. So again, I have Fruit Loops in here, and so that side is empty. So again, they would just turn the top, and then they have to fish out one at a time. So this really helps my kids make sure that they're not just scarfing their snacks down too fast. They have to go slow. And I can also monitor how much they've had. You know, if one full compartment is still full or if one's empty or if the whole thing's empty, you know, I know how much they've had. All right, tip number five. This one is for any visually impaired parent as well as any family member that could have a visual impairment. So I'm gonna open up my cabinets here. You'll get to kind of see how maybe messy, organized, unorganized, I don't know. But anyway, um, you can see all my dishware is actually different colors. I really prefer to contrast the food with the plate or any kind of dishware. Even my kids have a variety of different colors to choose from. So when I'm preparing food, like, uh, you know, if it's pasta sauce, I, I won't match that with a red plate. Or if I'm making scrambled eggs, I won't put that in a yellow bowl, for example. So instead I will choose a high contrasting color plate or dishware to match that with. And again, that just helps me see what I am eating as well as how much food my children are eating. And as well as with cleanup, it really helps to know, okay, do I still have a lot of ketchup left on this plate or not? If it's a yellow plate, I can easily see, but if it's a red plate, I'm not gonna see that ketchup very well. So hopefully this is a tip to keep in mind for yourself or for other family members. All right, moving on, that number six is actually very similar to the last one, and that is using different color uh, cutting boards. You can kind of see, um, 
I just grabbed, these were cheap, simple, easy. I think I got them at Walmart, but they're plastic cutting boards that are a variety of colors. So I have red, blue, yellow, and I think I have a green somewhere also. These, again, I can contrast the food that I am cutting up if, you know, once I have the knife and everything out, if none of my other uh, utensils are working for me, you know, I can grab out a contrasting color, like, you know, if I'm cutting up watermelon or something like that, I can pick up the blue or the yellow. And again, it just helps provide that real strong contrast, allowing me to use what functional vision I have uh, to the best ability. Another little quick tip to throw in, number seven, when you are cutting up things like watermelon or really juicy things like that that are bulky, I will also put these uh, cutting boards on to a baking sheet. And so this just helps catch all the knife marks, but the pan, the baking sheet has the little edges around it. And so when I put this in there and I'm cutting up the watermelon, all of that will get contained and it just makes cleanup a lot easier. I can just dump the baking sheet into the sink and all those juices and things fall right out. So that just makes cleanup that much easier. All right, guys, this next tip is actually microwave sanitizing bags. And make sure I have it up right for you to see. So, I fell in the trap as a new parent with thinking that I had to have all the gadgets and gizmos. And so I had this big bulky sanitizing unit that took up so much space in my house. And when I discovered microwavable sanitizing bags, this was a game changer for me. They were quick, they're easy, they don't take up any space, and they're great for beyond that baby stage. You know, I was using them all the time for different like, you know, pacifiers and breast pump parts and bottles and things like that. But even today with the virus and things going on, you never know when you need something that you need sanitizing, like toothbrushes or anything like that. I can pop them in here real quick. It's nice to know I can easily sanitize anything that I need to in these microwave safe bags. All right, hack number nine. I've got this one and one more and we'll be done. I know you're probably wondering why I have a laundry pod container in my kitchen. That is because one day my son got into my Lazy Susan, got into my flour and poured it everywhere in my kitchen. It was a major difficult mess to clean up. And so I started keeping these pod containers because they have the safety child lock on the top. And so a lot of my, you know, flower bags are too big to fit in here. So I actually um, use different containers to put them in and then slide them inside here. But this one actually holds my sugar. So I'll show you. I don't have to worry about the inside of it being, you know, contaminated or not clean or anything like that because everything is still stored in the original bag. I am just literally sticking them inside the laundry pod container because my kids cannot open this lid, thus getting into my sugar. They can open the Ziploc kind of um, part of the bags. They can just pull those right open, which is bizarre because sometimes I struggle with that. <laughs> oh, I will then just Ziploc them close my sugar bag, and then put the sugar bag into this laundry pad, pod container with the child safety lock. And that way I know they're not going to just have a free for all with my sugar and flour all over my kitchen. Um, you can also put your different spices or, you know, um, spice mix little bags and things like that in here as well if that's an issue you have. I also put makeup, you know, put my makeup bags in these <laughs> for obvious reasons. Um, all kinds of things. So save your laundry pod containers because, you know, they have that child safety lock that does keep your kids out of things that you want them to stay out of. Okay guys, last one, and this is an aluminum foil hack. So before I get to it though, if you didn't know there are tabs at the very ends of your aluminum foil dispensers, that helps keep that tube um, you know, solid inside so that it doesn't keep coming out when you're trying to get your aluminum foil. I just found this out. Who knew? No one told this blind mom that that was, that these little handy tabs were even a thing 
brilliant. Anyway, let's get to the hack. So whenever I am short on time and I don't have a lot of energy or time to clean up my baking pans, so for example, if I'm making pizza, I will actually put parchment paper down or the aluminum foil over the baking sheet and then bake my pizza. And when I'm done, I can either reuse that aluminum foil or just toss away the parchment paper and I don't have a pan to clean up. It keeps the dishes clean and I just have to toss away whatever is dirty. I don't do this all the time because I don't want to be wasteful, but let's face it, there are those moments when we're all just running out of time, running out of energy, and we're looking for a shortcut. This is a good hack to go to just to avoid and cut off some time at the end and minimize your cleanup. All right, guys, so that pretty much brings me to the end of today's tips and hacks for the kitchen. I hope one or if not all of these work for you. If so, don't forget, hit that like button and the subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for your support. I'll catch you next time. Thanks.